Hi folks, this is Jake. Hope you're okay today. Uh, it's good to see you. If you read Psalm, uh, Psalm 119, verse 162, we read, I rejoice in your word like one who finds a great treasure. Now the word of God is a great treasure, and but maybe you're, you've got intellectual questions. Maybe you've been to university, college, or whatever, and you, you're really struggling really with questions I, I want to help you here first of all I've been in the same situation I, I've been to two seminaries and seminaries is not an easy place to be sometimes because you get thrown all these arguments against the Bible and you have to deal with them what I would say to you is you've got to deal with these issues from a position of strength you've got to be listening to good Bible teaching and be sitting in a church where there's a good Bible teacher because they will, those listening to those sermons and listening to your good Bible teacher will give you strength and, and, and confidence that the Bible is the Word of God. Because they'll answer many of your questions. Secondly, read widely. Don't just read the skeptics, but find the best evangelical scholars in the field and read them. And you'll get some good answers. And thirdly, if there is a nitty gritty problem that you can't answer, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Don't throw the Bible out because you can't answer one question. Take your time, pray about it, wait on the Lord, and the Lord, in, within a few days or weeks, or even a month, He'll give you the answer. He'll send someone to you, or you'll find a book or something, and you'll get the right source to be able to answer that question. So don't just say, I can't answer it, therefore the Bible's not true. No, you know lots of reasons why the Bible is true just because you can't answer this one question just hang on in there and God will show you the answer okay